Welcome back to another video on this go-kart. Today, I plan on upgrading the headlights and putting a taillight on this. First off, we need to take the headlights off, and that's all for now until parts come. Also, do have new belts coming for this because this thing just eats belts, and I've been having a lot of power issues with this motor. I haven't been able to get as much power as I want out of it, so I'm probably going to end up putting a 250cc five-speed motorcycle engine in it. So that was fun. Just run a linkage up in between the driver and passenger if I don't have enough space put it on the outer edge but yeah I just have having a shifter car like this would be really cool so we'll see how that goes So the headlight and taillight should be here at around tomorrow-ish. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get this basically choke cable mount that's just been tied right there for a long time. I've never really gotten to putting it in there because I totally forgot about it when I installed this new air filter and carburetor. But you can see there's a little tab of plastic right at the bottom. And basically has it so it clicks in place. It's really hard to turn. And I don't want to have to really yank on that cable and possibly break it. It's right down there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this air filter off. Take, see if I can take that off and shave that down so it turns really easy. And then put that right back in. So I'll have choke control from the driver's seat. When I was taking those headlights out, it looked like the master cylinder is basically out of brake fluid, so I think that's why my brakes have been getting weaker and weaker. It's draining out somewhere, so. Because that is way too low for my liking, so let's fill that back up. A bunch of parts just arrived. I'm pretty sure it's the taillight, headlight, and some belts. Brand new headlights. So I just got the tail light installed. Just use aluminum brackets going off the existing mounting holes from the roof. And I ran a wire all the way down to here. I plan on hooking up to the headlight with the headlights and then having a presser switch on the brake pedal. So when I press on the brake pedal, it activates the brake light and basically makes it brighter. It's gonna be on. It's just gonna be like a car. So where when you press on, it's gonna get brighter. 
when you let off, it's gonna get dimmer. And the last thing too, is I have this little USB port right here. I need to hook up some 12 volt source, so I'm gonna use the voltage meter and try to find something that has 12 volt on it that I can use that turns off when I turn off the main 12 volt power switch and turns on when I turn that switch on, so, so let's get to it. Everything works now, so time to go test it. Got the tail light on there. Two new headlights, and wow, that is bright. That is awesome now. So we got that's good for the headlight and tail light. Nothing, just the bar light, and then you got all, oh, which obviously is the best. that's gonna wrap it up for this video that go-kart is awesome now with that new bar light but it's actually raining right now so I need to head inside so hopefully we'll be installing a 250 cc five-speed motor in it and see how fast we can get it to go so yeah